Hi. Uh, so I'm going to talk about how to extend the Kubernetes resources more effectively. So first, the question is, what is Kubernetes resources? So actually, there are a, a set of well-defined restful endpoints. These res the, the Kubernetes resources objects are stored in the etcd, and the API server handles all requests and perform operations on these objects. So Kubernetes resource is designed in a level-based uh, declarative pattern, which means in the cluster, the changes on the objects are in the form of a desired status rather than requests to events. So uh, the <coughs> it, will, it will not trigger if, uh, handling directly. Instead, a collection of the controllers or operators wrapped by the Kube Control Manager watch the object status periodically and they re reconcile the current status towards the desired status. Uh, besides the core API, a very, a very valuable feature of Kubernetes is it allows users to develop their own business logic and expose it as a restful endpoint, which can be managed by the Kubernetes without modifying existing codes. This is the so-called ex uh, extending Kubernetes resource or extending Kubernetes API. So customer, customer resources definition, also known as uh, CRD, is a mechanism provided by Kubernetes for this purpose. So in general, extending your Kubernetes resource means to develop your CRD and controllers. So, uh, so CRD is very simple, can be defined in the YAML file and uh, operated by the kubectl command line as other core APIs. But developing a controller from the scratch is very tedious. On the left side, it, you, can, you can see um, it is a basic, uh, ba basic stack you have to be familiar with in order to build up a controller from scratch. So normally, you have to leverage the third-party libraries and the tools like client go on the right side and the code generator tools to build these blocks. The so tools and the library can reduce your coding work, but the learning curve is pretty, is pretty expensive. So if, uh, is there a way to make life better? The answer is, of course, yes. The Kube Builder is designed for solving this problem. The Kube Builder can be used as either a command line tool or SDK imported by your projects. The so Kube Builder can tremendously simplify development workflow, let the user only focus on the implementation of the, the, uh, the resources API and the controller reconciliation logic. The user doesn't need to care about all the other complex stacks on the rest, uh, left side, uh, which is used in the from scratch approach. Okay, so as a so uh, I'm going to say the command line tool. So as a command line tool, uh, Kube Builder provides an easy to use user experience. This diagram shows a quick start for running the Kube Builder from a command line. Uh, you can start with running a Kube Builder in it uh, to initialize your project and scaffold for it, uh, taking the domain as the input as you wish. Uh, no, but it is required. Sorry. <laughs> So in the interactive mode, um, user can decide to vendor the dependencies and creating the API controller webhook uh, uh, individually. User only needs to implement the business logic uh, in these colorful in the, these colorful blocks. So no no need to worry about other st stuff. Kube Builder gives your projects uh, a where give your projects a well written Docker file and the make file to build, test, publish, and deploy your CRD and the controller into the target cluster or put into a Docker registry. So yeah, that's it. So extending Kubernetes resource by Kube Builder can be very simple and easy. So feel free to try it from the repo, and uh, you will find more features from there. So by the way, the Google engineer Meng Qi and me will give you a session talk to deep dive the Kube Builder framework and SDK tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs>